Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today guys, yes, I will be showing you how you can write in color in Discord. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Writing in color is pretty simple and there's a lot of different colors that you can use. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's really all that there is to the intro. Alright, let's get ready to do this. And once again, thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe. By the way, this is not the end. And yeah, let's get into this. Alright, getting right into it, we will be starting off by typing this symbol. So now this symbol might not look that familiar to you, but essentially it is, you just go to your little tab key, and then one up from it, there should be this symbol, which is like the strike through line, kind of. If you don't hold shift on it, it will give you this little, It's I think it's called a, no, 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 never mind. It, the other thing is called a tilde, but this one's just kind of like a, well, in coding, we use it for, like, uh, quotations sometimes, but, yeah. So, find that one, it's, it's a, it may be one or two keys above the tab for you, but we're gonna type it, and then, if you didn't already know, typing either, typing one of them, and then typing a word, and then another one will give you this kind of code, right here, as you can see. So then, yeah, and markdown, basic markdown, as you know, you can type in these, um, asterisks, one set of asterisks, it'll give you an italic, two sets, gives you bold, three sets, gives you, of course, bold italics, and you have two under, you have two underline marks, and then you can underline it, and then that same um, kind of mini quotation marks, if you hold shift, you can get this, two of these, equals a strike through. But yeah, but that's not going to be the focus of this video. We'll be focusing on writing in color. So here's how to write in color the basics. So typing the hello in the code, what we're going to do is use that same kind of quotation symbol, but instead type it three times. As you can see, it, when I type the third one, it kind of colors out gray. And what I can do is I can type hello and then three again. And boom. And as you can see, it kind of codes out the entire line, not just the word. So now this right here is the kind of color that we will be using. So we're going to start off by typing three, clicking enter, enter again, and then typing the other three. So then you're going to write whatever you want in this middle section. And then right up here, right where the first set of three Kind of, what do you, I don't, I actually don't know what these are called. Comment down below if you know. Because, uh, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Alright, well, so we will be going right up here. And then we, we, we will be typing a certain keyword. The, now, there are like, probably like 10, 15 different keywords. But I will, but I don't know all of them, unfortunately. But I do know that there are some of them. For example, one of them is typing... YML. And as you can see, so we type in YM and it's gray, but as soon as you type in the L, it turns green. And when it turns green, that is a sign that it is the key that it is a keyword to change the to change the color of some letters. And then it and then if we type in hello, it may be a little bit hard to see, but as you can see it is a darker color than this than this hello up here. And if we put that in as you can see, it is a darker color. It is actually kind of like teal than this one. Teal, and then this one's white. Now we can do some more stuff. Like, for example, we could type <coughs> diff. As you can see, it goes from gray to green. If we type hello, it does nothing, right? However, we can put a certain we can put certain symbols also in front of the words. For example, putting a plus will change this to a kind of yellowish orange. I'm a little colorblind for this, I think. 
I think it's yellow orange, I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, it changes the colors, and a, it also changes the colors doing a minus, turns it to red. I like this, so I'll type that in. Minus hello. Yeah, so, and then there's a ton of them for all of the different coding languages. So, for example, we all know the JavaScript, so if we type JS, the J is gray, but we typed in the S, it turns green. Type those. And then the JS. Now, at first, it doesn't do anything, right? But that's because because we put JS, then it changes all the JavaScript keywords colors. It kind of like color codes them, syntax highlighting. So, so just pretend that we're gonna code a Discord bot real quick. We can type in const Discord, and as you can see, it color coded the word const because it's a JavaScript keyword. Equals require. As you can see, it turns red because that. And if we put in two quotations, discord.js, as you can see in the quotations, it turns it kind of the tealish as we did it as it did with the YAML. So this, and then of course we can do of course Python, so PY. And then if we type in print and then hello. So the, just the print keyword by itself is that, but when we put in uh, what is <laughs> parentheses, and then it'll change it back to normal. And then we also have, of course, the um, quotations, and then it turns it teal, of course. No, I did not mean to do that. All right, boom. So yeah, that is the basic gist of how to type in now there are of how to type in color. <laughs> Jeez, don't even finish my sentence. Like, bruh. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, we will just be... So, there are a lot of different types of keywords that we can use. Like, for example, there is markdown, of course. And then, markdown, we can type in this um, number sign or... Yeah, kind of hash mark. And then it'll change anything after it. Well, it'll change anything after it on the same line, of course. To, um, blue. <laughs> so, yeah, there's actually a lot of different um, ways to do this. And I just found a ton of these by experimentation. Like, like what I did, I just did this. And then I just kind of experimented with different keywords. Like there's C. C++, of course. And then there's also CSS. Which we can do... Like, for example, CSS. If we just do a normal word, it is, of course, color-coded. And then we have to get those brackets just like normal CSS. And then down here, if we do hashtag, it'll change it to blue. And then, of course, if we do dot, <coughs> it'll change it to a kind of darker blue. But it's still kind of blue, but it's just a darker blue. And then, of course, the at just change it to the same color as this, as the normal. So, yeah, that's just basically how to write in color. If you guys did end up enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a like down below. It supports me a lot, and also, I have 161 subscribers right now, and wow, thank you guys so much. Like, <laughs> dude, I never thought that I'd actually get to 100. And then it just blasts off to 161. Wow. So, yeah, I gotta thank all you guys for that. And anyway, this was a pretty short video. Um, comment down below if I should be making more... That was my Discord, by the way. Comment down below if I should be making more gaming videos for you guys. But yeah. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Bye. Cringe out.